Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have an insight regarding the Martian bacterial colonists of the, uh, the of Earth, of the human space station colons that I've talked about in years past. I, um, I, 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 stu I hurt my toe and I was I was cleaning off the roof of the shed preparatory to the great winds that came that then resulted in a fire called the Saddle Ridge Fire. And so all this stuff happened in the space of like three days, right? The cleaning of the roof, the, the great gale winds, and the Saddle Ridge Fire, which came with about, within about mm, three and a half miles of the house. And um, while I was cleaning off the porch roof, something happened to one of my toes, my smaller toes. At first it became like insensitive to pain, uh, numb, and then it started hurting like a bee sting, like that. And by the next day, when the fire started, it was all swollen up. So I went to the urgent care people and they said, take mm, caf Keflex, a, a type of antibiotic, right, in a family of antibiotics that I'm allergic to. And they said there's only a 5% chance that it'll have the same effect, right? So what with the down trees and the traffic accident, it looked like it was a fatal accident, and the fire and the smoke and all this stuff, I thought, well, if it's fast acting, it's the best thing. So I took it. And um, the first day that I took it, it, all the symptoms were greatly relieved. It was, it was terrific. But as I continued to take it, you know, as light workers, we have much more sensitive electromagnetic systems than people generally are aware of. Of course, everybody's capable of having those, those types of electromagnetic systems, but not everybody is yet aware of, deeply aware of the electromagnetic nature of the body of light. So, so we have different like um, medical, med medicinal requirements from other people. Probably because we're we're better at repairing light problems that go wrong, and the light is a template for the body. I'm sure you've heard all this. Anyway, um, a lot of the time when we get medicines, we just need a homeopathic amount of medicine in order to heal the body, not the usual course of medicine. And by the second day, which was yesterday, of taking this antibiotic, I started to get the same types of symptoms um, that I've had in years past with amoxicillin and penicillin and so forth. And um, so today I had to quit. But on the other hand, it's healed what was wrong, which was an infection caused by the puncturing of the skin, the integument, um, from that trauma, that unknown trauma that happened on the roof of the shed. So um, last night, uh, there was an incursion of the dark. Of course, this is solar minimum, and it's close to Halloween, which is always kind of a spooky time of year, just before All Saints Day, November the 1st, and and extended income taxes are due, so a lot of people are are working very hard all night long on their taxes. And in addition, there was a big party down the street, across the street, and cars were parked all over, and there were far greater concentration of thought forms than usual. Thought forms have an electromagnetic nature, too, and they go right through walls. They don't depend on physical things to get where they're going. So... Uh, there was a, a great charge of the thought form currents in the air, and that creates sleeplessness in, in, in my experience. Uh, similar to when you're at a meeting and there are a lot of people there and they aren't concentrating on something special, as is the case with um, a devotional service. They're contentiously talking about city issues, for instance, there are thought forms flying all over the place. And the same was the case last night. There were tons of thought forms, and it seemed to me inebriated thought forms, you know, the type that draw in the small bads, 
luckily not the big bads. So the small bads can influence our sleep, um, our sleep pattern adversely uh, by giving us bad dreams. The thought forms come into our mind field and influence our dreaming capability. In addition, there was an issue with regard to the food that I ate yesterday. I had a little chicken. And uh, on Fridays and Saturdays for light workers, I, my experience is it's not good to have any kind of flesh at all, even light flesh, like uh, chicken and fish and seafood. It's, it's best not to do that on Friday and Saturday nights. It has to do with these other types of thought forms that we run into on the weekend that are different from the workaday thought forms, which are more mm, disciplined, less alcoholic, less... Um, I haven't quite pegged it down, but there's something, something dark and sad and angry about the thought forms that people produce on Friday and Saturday nights here in Los Angeles. Usually not so bad in my area because it's so quiet here. There aren't very many people here. But last night, for the reasons that I've mentioned before, uh, most likely, it was, it was worse than usual. And I, I got restless sleep. And my cat, cat was behaving you know, very oddly, like she wanted to get into the room, like she herself was affected by this issue. Cats are much more easily affected by, by the small bads than humans. So, so I've seen to my cat, she's doing better. I've seen to myself, I'm doing better. And I have a theory for you um, regarding the Martian bacterial colonists of Earth, and antibiotics such as penicillin and, and the like. Um, the Martian bacterial colonists have said that they, are, they see themselves, their race, as a great light upon the Earth. And light is a form of electromagnetic energy. You know we light workers, we deal with electromagnetic energy. Earth has a body of light known as the magnetosphere. We have a body of light that, that uses uh, electricity and magnetism in our nervous systems to send signals back and forth in all our nervous systems. Okay, so Antibiotics, as I understand it, uh, kill the commensal organisms in our colon just as they kill the invading hostile organisms in our colon. So then after, after we take a course of antibiotics, we most likely need to rebuild the commensal organisms in our colon using probiotics and yogurt and things of that nature. In the meantime, such as last night, when the commensal organisms in the gut are at an all-time low because of the die-off caused by uh, antibiotics, it could be that that great light that they, they, that they talk about, that they provide um, to the world, is, is uh, missing, relatively missing from our colons. Um, a lot of the dreaming that we do at night has to do with the gut brain, which emanates from the colon. Okay, so it's possible for incursions of the dark, this is my theory, it's possible that incursions of the small bads, not the big bads, but the small bads, may be more likely to occur against the gut brain when the great light of the bacterial inhabitants of the colon is damped down by a course of antibiotics. So I say the thing to do if you're a light worker is to minimize your course of antibiotics if, you, if indeed you have to take it 
see there's a great fire and your house is in danger and and you can barely walk and you have to solve this problem of the infection in your foot so that you can you know save your life and that of your neighbors in case in case of need if you have to take that antibiotic then don't take it for very long okay you, it, it, it take a homeopathic amount of the medicines provided by western science and i think that you'll find that it works better for your system and, and helps to keep the total um, kingdom of your life forms in better working order and better able to defend you uh, electromagnetically. Okay, I'm bidden to mention something else to you, which is something that is near to my heart. But to tell the truth, I had thought it might be best not to mention it because I'll never get a buy-in from anything but the light workers, I feel. But, okay, here's the special request from the Martian bacterial colonists of Earth, and that is this. They say, we have a right to be alive. Right? To that I will add, it was they that created us here on Earth, and many of the other sentient life forms on, and non-sentient life forms on Earth were created through their genetic engineering. They're the elder race of Earth, and we're but the new beginners here. And we, so far, have an appalling lack of understanding of the importance of cooperating with them in order to keep ourselves healthy and in fact much of modern medicine does the exact opposite. I'm appalled, truly appalled at modern medicine. On behalf, <laughs> on behalf of the elder race I'd like to say they have a right to stay alive and we have a need to work th with them in order to maintain these bodies that we're currently caring for here on Earth, okay? Uh, it was a special request. I know you, you're not there with me, but for the light workers, there it is. And you can teach your people uh, respect for all life forms on Earth, especially those inside us. <laughs> I don't know how the micro immunological community of scientists is going to take this. Maybe they won't see it. That'll be great. I, I have to tell you, I'm looking forward to All Saints Day on them, November the 1st. After Halloween, that's going to be a good day. And then on into winter solstice for all of us. And with the new year, they say, the beginning of a new solar maximum cycle building up. That'll be something to look forward to. That's all I have to say. I have to go do my taxes. Talk to you all later on. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>